So once again, going back to this Iowa data center, this is what it looks like just with the grid sourced energy. This is what happens when you overlay it with our purchase power agreements where we basically have renewable energy that we've contracted for from third parties and you match the two together and you see it gets better. It goes from 20 something percent to 78 percent. Um, but it's still not perfect. It's still not 100 percent. So that's our aspiration, right, is to go from wherever we stand with grid source today to that full 100 percent carbon free energy. So to do that, um, there are several things we have to do to really be able to get that carbon free energy for all of our operations in all places at all times. And really this starts with a technology challenge. The technology challenge really is how do we optimize not only our consumption of energy, but how do we find better resources for supply and how do we accelerate new technologies that are not yet commercially ready. So first off, in terms of new capabilities, um, with our data center in Belgium, um, we uh, uh, it added a battery storage asset to this uh, uh, data center with the intent to offer grid services. Um, basically ancillary services, uh, load shaping for us. Um, this gives us flexible capacity. As you can imagine the scale of a data center, um, and to give you a sense, data centers can be hundreds of megawatts of size. Um, you have a considerable amount of power generation on site to support the data center if it were to encounter problems with the grid. Now imagine that capability is now a flexible resource for the grid. This means that your local support, your local services can actually be beneficial and help the grid in times of need. So this was one of our first attempts at doing that in Belgium. Um, in terms of new technology, we went and uh, sourced the first ever uh, geothermal asset. Um, this was 120 gigawatts by 2050 that we think we can grow to. But we, we went and got this with Fervo, um, a company for our data center in Nevada. And all with the idea that it isn't just going to be a solar and wind future. It's a, a future that's really going to be defined by a variety of technologies and uh, fuel sources. 